Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mock dive Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Nah, no, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it.
consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. The 10,000-acre dumping ground ranks among the world's largest and contains both toxic and biological waste. Already seven firefighters combating the blaze have died and another 40 have suffered from severe burns and toxin exposure. The Swedish Academy Award for Literature has announced its latest recipient, Virginia Granchester, citing her most recent book in Shade of Poetry as a treasure of generation. You take a blow up doll, who is an AI created by a raging microcyclone. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger, get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. It's like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V, I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. 
If by Mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Came the clouds for info, left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time, I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. Call me a murderer? You're right. I killed Woodman. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And if I'd known what he did to Evelyn when she needed help, I wouldn't have gone so easy on him. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move.
That went smoothly. He totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over clouds as if it was her idea. You might be on to something. You have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. The line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I. Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Have to do with selling the garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Today's world news segment. Please join us again next time. Hey, if it works, blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gonk. They're just poor. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere? That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. You said yourself we got everything here. Jewels, stores, eaters. to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. 
I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks.